You may not believe it, but a new tech has been found in Smash 4, showcased by Zirconium on Twitter, that only works with a few characters. I'm C5 from the beefy Smash dudes and this is the Ledge Slip Aerial Cancel, or just short, Ledge Slip. Mario and a few other characters can drop from a ledge, perform an aerial and immediately land on the stage again. This can even lead to more follow-ups, but like I said, only very few characters can do it and it also doesn't work on all stages. Mario, Luigi, Doc and Peach can only do it with back air, Pac-Man can only do it with up air and Rosalina can do it with all aerials. There are a few more characters that also land on stage when doing this, but won't have an active hitbox, which makes this pretty useless. These are Jigglypuff, Pikachu and Sonic and all of them with back air. This also happens with Peach if you perform the back air too early, so you have to delay it a bit for the hitbox to come out. Pikachu is also a special case. Quick disclaimer, we did test out every character, but since this tech is so difficult, there is a chance that we missed a few. So how exactly does this work? It's actually a bit more complicated than it looks. If you stand with your back to the ledge, slowly turn around and as soon as you leave the ledge, perform the right attack, in Mario's case, back air. Definitely use the C-Stick for this. After leaving the ledge, it can help to quickly move the control stick towards the ledge again. This is a must for Rosalina and Pac-Man, but not necessary for the rest. I would still recommend that you always do it. Timing the turnaround and the aerial can be hard, so to make it easier you can also do it right after certain moves. Rolls work very well, spot dodge works too, or even some attacks that don't misplace you. Simply hold the control stick away from the stage while performing them and time the attack while switching directions. You cannot do this by simply walking or running off stage because of this fancy animation. All characters have a specific running or walking off stage animation which usually pushes them out a bit, making this tech impossible with everyone except Peach and Pikachu. Those two are special cases and Pika can actually only get a hitbox this way. He can even dash off stage right on the ledge and still get it. But with everyone else, the animation we need is this one, which is why we do it after a turnaround. But that's not the only method. Another way is to dash towards the ledge, tap shield while still holding the control stick off stage and once again time the aerial and control stick movement correctly. This method is especially useful for Rosalina, since that way Luma is facing off stage. It also works with spot dodge or dash attack, but is only unnecessarily more difficult. Now about the stages, Mario, Luigi and Dog cannot do it on Battlefield or Smashville and Omega stages vary. Well, they can, but no hitbox will come out. The others can do it on pretty much any stage. Also, it only works on solid ground and not on platforms. With Rosalina, the timing is extremely tight, making this really hard to get. Also, she won't have a hitbox herself, but Luma still performs the whole attack and you can combo out of it. Obviously, it also works with detethered Luma. Mario can even combo into the cancelled back air. At low percent, if you get a grab on the ledge, use down throw, hold the control stick away from the ledge and perform the trick. If your opponent misses the tag, you can even lock them. Interesting to note is that another mechanic is helping Mario out here. A lot of down throws have less knockback if performed right on the ledge and Mario's down throw is one of them, making it much easier to connect into a cancelled back air. Other characters also have a few cool tricks, but not all of them are worth going for. It's not easy to get this trick right away, it needs practice. If you find yourself performing tilts or smashes, you probably input the attack too early. If you fall off, you either input it too late or move the control stick too late. Either way, it's not easy at first, but after a while it's possible to become pretty consistent. Lastly, even characters that can't perform the aerial cancel can make use of the ledge slip. Sometimes it can be useful to go off stage while staying as close as possible to the ledge. With the inputs of the ledge slip that is easily possible.
If you like videos like these, just wait until Smash Ultimate gets released, there's gonna be a lot more tech to cover. So subscribe to the channel and don't forget about our new merch. As always, thanks for watching, see you soon and stay beefy. That's why you gotta kill